guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Yankee Candle Signature Collection haul and review video. Now, if you've watched my video before, and if you have not, I will leave the link to the video down below. Yankee Candle recently changed their jars to the Signature Collection. Now, I don't want to dive too much into the Signature Collection and my thoughts. Obviously, I really like them because I have 12 sitting right next to me that I want to share with you guys. But Yankee Candle has gone through ups and downs, uh, being sold to Newell Brands, people leaving, people coming, new directors, lots of changes at Yankee Candle. But one thing that has not changed is their authenticity with fragrance and creating beautiful scents. The problem is the throw. Now, when I say the throw, that means how far does that fragrance throw from the candle? Can you actually smell it in a room? And a lot of the times, that was not the case. They did come out with the Elevation Collection, which I simply adored, but it doesn't really seem like much is new and updating with the Elevation Collection. In my opinion, I believe that the Elevation Collection was a stepping stone to the Signature Collection. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, there are two designs for the Signature Collection. We have the classic Signature Collection jar. It looks like this. We have the label in the front. We have a glass top with a gasket to seal the candle. And then we have two wicks. And I want to talk a little bit about wicks too. But we have the Parasoy Blend. We also have the Signature Collection tumblers, which you can see in the background here, that have a wraparound label, and then the lid actually acts as the base for a little bit more of a modern design. Now, what I like about those two is the lid, but I do love the Signature Collection jars a little bit more. I like the clean cleanness. I like the little um, dip on the top, but... One thing I noticed, I ordered all of these candles online, and they came in, but one thing I want to talk about is the wicks. Every single one of them, the wicks are extremely long. Now, for somebody who's not super avid into burning candles, you might think, light this sucker up. No. I want to talk a little bit about loving your candle for just a little bit, just a little bit of time. So, if you see these wicks, they are extremely long. So what you want to do is you want to get a wick trimmer. Now, you don't have to have a wick trimmer. Yankee does sell these. You can use a pair of really sharp scissors. You can use nail clippers, anything like that. But why I love wick trimmers is they can go all the way down into the jar of the candle with no problem. Now, you want to trim these wicks to a quarter of an inch before you light them. So you want to take your wick, angle it a little bit, and then... Now, this is a brand new wick, so it flies across the room. After you burn this candle, it won't do that anymore. And then you want to trim your wick. This is how short you want your wicks to be before you light this candle. No, the flames won't get small. No, they won't fizzle out on you. They will keep the flames steady. They will keep no soot on the candle. And it will burn clean all the way down. Light this candle in between three to four hours. No shorter than three, no longer than four. Three to four hours is the best time. You'll get a full pool of liquid wax from edge to edge. Extinguish your candle, and either blow it out, snuff it, anything you want to do. Then, after the wax is completely hardened, either later that night or in the morning, go ahead, trim your wicks again. They will be black, obviously, because they've been burned. <coughs> but you light your candle, and you trim your wicks again short, and this candle will burn clean all the way down. Be as strong from the top as it is on the bottom because this is a blended candle of wax and fragrance. So you're going to get a perfect burning candle every single time. I have tested like 20 of these Signature Collection jars, and I love them. So... I was a little bit of why to love your candle, and if you have questions about like taking care of your candle, get, getting the most out of your candle, leave comments down below. I can make a new updated video on that. Maybe that could be something fun, because I do have a video from when I was like 12 years old talking about how to love your candle, but that is super important. It'll create a clean environment in your room, no soot. It will make sure the, the glass doesn't get overly ha uh, hot so it doesn't break. It makes sure that the wax doesn't get scorched from being burned for too long, so that way the fragrance doesn't 
go, go away. So, I have four brand new fragrances, three that I've wanted to try for years but never really have, and then five favorites, never get good performance out of them, that I'm really excited to check out with the new signatures. So, my favorite phrase, without further ado, let's get into it. First two candles that I want to share with you guys are from the Woodland Road Trip Collection. For the past, I would say, don't quote me on this, four years, three or four years, Yankee Candle has done these like capsule collections for the season. So instead of creating like five fragrances that are just fit for the season, they all have a little bit of a theme. Last year we had the Bonfire Nights collection, we had like a Campfire Treats collection, and those scents all really kind of worked together, told a little bit of a story. So this year it is the Woodland Road Trip collection. There are four new fragrances. I have two of the four, but the other two new fragrances that I have are just part of their new fall line. They're not in this Woodland Road Trip collection. So the two that I do not have are Sunlit Autumn. I smelled it in the store. It's a very perfumey fragrance. So if you like more floral perfumey scents, there's that one. And then the namesake fragrance, Woodland Road Trip, which it's more of an earthy, cologne type of fragrance. But I did pick up two because they really intrigued me. The first one from the second I smelled it in the store, Farm Fresh Peach. Okay, so this is supposed to smell like a jar of peach jam fresh from the farmer's market, and it does. And one thing about Yankee Candle is their true authentic fragrances. You cannot take that away from them. When they create a fragrance, farm fresh peach, it smells like a farm fresh peach. This smells just like a jar of peach jam that still have chunks of peaches. They've skinned them. They've cooked them down. Lots of sugar, lots of gelatin, making it really sweet on a fresh piece of toast. This is that peach jam captured in a fragrance. Yankee does a lot of really cool peach scents, but I've never smelled it like this. I knew from the second I smelled it, I needed to try it in the signature collection so I have a chance to see what it burns like now. Spoiler alert, it does come in a large jar. You'll see that back there. I am going to burn these on opposite days to see what if the jars throw just as well in the new scents as they do in the signatures. I doubt they will, but this Farm Fresh Peach is incredible. Now you did also see me smell the lid because when these candles are poured the lids are placed on them hot and it's created what's called a headspace. So when you open the lid you smell this that's gonna give you the truest fragrance because that's what it smelled like warm when they capped these candles. You're gonna really get that true authentic fragrance. Now the next one Cozy Cabin Escape. For one this color such a dark dark brown color. It actually looks just like their Whoopie Pie fragrance, but oh, I actually need to read the description on this one because it is awesome. Treats of toasted nuts, vanilla, and caramel fill a woodsy cabin. So it's very much like a caramelized nutty fragrance with a little bit of vanilla. It's really rich. It's really warm. It's really, really comforting. I picture this like Cozy Cabin Escape on a really a really cool night in autumn when you're not really sure what you want to burn, you're not really feeling pumpkin, you're not really feeling apple cinnamon, but you want something different that maybe the whole family's together watching a movie you would really like. I feel like this is it because it's a very toasty, warm, caramelly, nutty fragrance. I really, really like this one. Now the two candles that are in the namesake or in the just classic uh, fall line this year that are new, pumpkin banana scone. This prompted this entire order because pumpkin banana scone, that sounds divine. I love banana scones. I love pumpkin scones. Putting them together sounds interesting, but it works. It immediately, I'll be honest, on first sniffs, smells very similar to like a banana nut bread fragrance. So you do get those like really mushy cooked down bananas. You get nutmeg, cinnamon, a little bit of nuttiness, but you get pumpkin puree right in the end, which just really makes this 
like a fall version of banana nut bread. It is heavenly. My bakery foodie heart is super happy in love with this one. I love the way that it smells. Oh, it's so just toasty and yummy. Oh, I cannot wait to light that one. I hope it's strong. I hope, I hope, I hope. Then, smoked vanilla and cashmere. <coughs> I was excited about this one. It has a very strange note to it that I'm not a fan of. It's almost like... <clears throat> I honestly don't even know if I'll keep this. I might burn it, because they also have a 100% money back guarantee. Light it and see what I think. I don't even know. It almost smells like... I can't describe it. It's super strange. Smoked vanilla and cashmere? No, it almost has like a... Like a plastic note. Like a melted plastic. Like when you go into the Gronk store. That's rubber, but... It's like a plasticky smell. I don't know. I feel like I don't know what they're trying to capture with this. I'm going to burn it to really experience it. But just being honest, I'm not a fan of that at all. So those were the four new fragrances. Now let's talk about the three fragrances that I've always seen in the store. They always smell great, but I never ever really picked them up. First up on the list is Warm Luxe Cashmere. Now, the reason why this is a scent that I've always walked by and smelled, I have purchased it. No throw. Never gave me any throw. But it was such a beautiful fragrance that I wanted to pick it up in the signature line to see if it is stronger. It's like Soft Blanket's older, more sophisticated sister. If you like Soft Blanket, which is like a chambray, really like cashmere, cashmere, definitely Warm Lux cashmere is the winner all the time. The pictures really capture it. It's like smoky, earthy, I mean, smoky, earthy. I don't know where that went. It's like warm and toasty. Those are the words I wanted to describe. Warm, toasty, comforting, like vanilla like light jasmine but if you're not a floral person you still would really like it it's like a really great like comforting fragrance next is autumn wreath and this is one that's a classic it comes back every year people love it i've burned it maybe once but i always forget about it it's nice it's like an apple cinnamon classic apple cinnamon scent with a little bit of like a, almost like, to me, it has like a pear fragrance to it. I know there's no pear in it, but it's like, like an autumn wreath. Like I can picture a beautiful wreath homemade with the twine, and then they put like those dried apple peels all over the wreath, sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar. Like when you go to a fair, like I go to this craft fair in Ohio, Shaker Woods, comment below if you've ever been, this smells like Shaker Woods, like those apple cinnamon craft story type of vibe, it's so pretty, one that I never ever really buy, but I definitely wanted to pick it up. And then last for this collection, Sugared Cinnamon Apple, again, cinnamon apple with sugar, yes, the sugariness of this scent takes this scent to a whole new level. So yeah, it does smell like cinnamon apples, but when you say sugar, it smells like this cupcake on the label. It smells like the richest cupcake with frosting. And to me, you know whenever you get, like at a gourmet bakery, an apple um, cupcake with frosting, and when you bite into it, there's actual pieces of fresh fruit from the apples? That's what this smells like to me, like a really gourmet apple cinnamon cupcake where there's actual pieces of fresh apple in it. The authenticity of this fragrance is incredible. I can't believe I never purchased it before and I'm hoping with the signature collection that it really gives me a great throw in this apartment. So now we have five classics I buy every year, whether they throw or not, that I'm super, super excited to talk about in the signature collection. The first up is Apple Pumpkin. Classic Yankee Candle. I remember when this was a brand new fragrance that came out. It is so, so good. To me, the apple in this 
is much more of, do you know whenever, okay, go on a journey with me. You know whenever you bite into an apple and it's almost like grainy, like grittiness of an apple, that's how rich it is? That's what this smells like, like a really rich apple with a smoked pumpkin. Like, you took pumpkin seeds, you stuck them in the oven, and you roasted them with all those spices. It's like those two scents mixed together. So, not your typical apple and not your typical pumpkin combined together to create this really, really rich scent. Apple pumpkin, always a classic. Super excited that it's in the signature collection so I can experience it. The next one, <clears throat> Spiced Pumpkin, another classic. I Spiced Pumpkin, it smells... I mean, this scent has never changed in all the years that I've ever burned it, and it always makes me smile. It's like what Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin should be. It's like a really hearty cinnamon stick that almost burns your nose when you smell it. <clears throat> Stuck into a real pumpkin with clove. Because the clove in there makes it a little bit more upscale, a little bit warmer. Again, I love the combination of clove with pumpkin. Mmm. So, so good. And the wicks on this are extremely long. So, when you order it, make sure to trim it. Then, we have cranberry chutney. Now, this one can lean more towards fall and winter. I love cranberry chutney. It is like... I know Danny from Danny Loves Wax really likes this one, too. It's just like that tart, bitey cranberry, but it's deep and rich. I'm one of those weird people that loves jellied cranberry sauce. I'll eat it on turkey, chicken, anything. I love that jellied cranberry sauce, and that smells like it. Like, really, really tart, deep cranberry sauce. Mmm, so good. I love a good cranberry fragrance, and Yankee has always captured it. Then, can't be a classic Yankee Candle video without Harvest. This is a bright mustard yellow wax. Super fun. And the pictures have like this Indian corn, and then it looks like a bucket of apples and some hay. It's like really, again, hard to describe. Very cinnamony, spicy. To me, this could be called pumpkin spice, and people would understand what it smells like. Nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, clove, like all of those spices in one fragrance. There's no real fruity note to it, even though there are n fruity notes technically in it. It's very spice forward. So if you're not a big fan of like spicy forward scents, you'll really like Harvest, I think. I do. I really like it. But my number one Yankee Fall scent used to be Apple Pumpkin, but two years ago at this point now, I think, this scent has captured my heart from Yankee, Cider House. You guys, Cider House is incredible. To me, if you don't like apple cinnamon scents, this is your scent. It smells just like you're in a cider house. We have a local cider house called Arsenal Cider House. It's about seven minutes down the road from me, and it's a hard cider house. But the apple cider, when you walk in, there's no cinnamon, no nutmeg, just really rich apples being liquefied down, a little bit bubbly. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot believe they captured that so much in the scent. And like this apple picture, has the leaves, the stem, and everything. It does. It smells like a really earthy, robust, apple-y fragrance. <clears throat> and sorry, I am really under the weather today, but I really wanted to film this video and get it out to you guys. But, oh, it smells divine, divine. Mm. I really, really love this fragrance. It's really rich and fruity. Cider House is a winner. So if I had to pick, I always like to do this, Three fragrances to buy this fall. Cider House, Pumpkin Banana Scone, and Farm Fresh Peach. Those three knock it out of the park for me. They are so yummy and delicious. I want to also give a shout out to the Team Yankee Facebook group. It's such a fun group to be a part of. Shout out to Andy, the moderator. He also makes YouTube videos here. Such a nice guy. And 
I know they really love the Signature Collection as well. Really great performance, so I just wanted to shout them out. I am going to go get a sip of water, relax for a little bit while I edit this video. Let me know what your favorite Yankee Fall scents are. Have you tried the new Signature Collection? And give me your honest thoughts. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.